All right, so we are going to run through a quick installation of the GM hard drive. I'm going to show removing um, the panels that need to be removed. I'm also going to go through the cabling uh, that comes with the kit and what goes where. So to start with, um, you will have received one of these baggies with some different components in it. So I just want to go through these cables real quick. The first one I'm pulling out has the um, two green ends on it. This is for your XM antenna. This is the extension lead. This guy right here, all black, two very different ends on it. This is for the antenna adapter. If your vehicle has rear seat entertainment and um, or you're adding a screen and whatnot, you specified that in the uh, order. The black plug with the various RCAs coming off of it is for um, the video, AV in and out. White cable is the new USB. You have the GPS antenna. Then lastly, you got this harnessing right here with one larger 20 pin connector. This has to do with the camera and the vehicle speed. The smaller gray connector goes to the OnStar module. All this is talked about in the uh, instructions. So what I'm going to do is cover the panels that need to be removed, show you how to do it, and um, we'll keep it going here. So first thing you want to do to access the radio is obviously remove this. Um, small pick is what I like to use right down here in the very bottom corner. You'll insert it. Plastic pry tool of some sort. If you work around the top to the side, easier and this very bottom one here feels like this panel is going to break really just need to grab it and pull it out it'll be fine we've got some seven millimeter bolts all the way around here all this is going to want to be removed we're also going to want to remove this center tray here this is going to allow us access to get to the USB port which is located in the center console with your fingers pop it right up if you need to you can use a pry tool as well I'm also going to be removing this panel here right below the steering wheel this allows easier access to get to the hookup for the vehicle speed signal you're also going to want to remove the panel on the very side over here which just pulls right out just like that this panel down here runs on one 10 millimeter bolt. And two Phillips screws. off just like that the antenna mounts right up here under this panel so to access this getting this popped up you got two covers right here Let's again just take a pick pop those down out of your way with a 10 millimeter socket Out. 
Then you're gonna want to disconnect the speaker. It's just a little push clip. Go ahead and get this out of the way. I'll use all the room in the world to just kind of get up onto this edge right here and pop up. With that up, I don't know if we can get a shot of this, but right up in here, right behind the vent, there's a little notch sticking up. That's where the GPS antenna is going to lock in place. Right. You're also going to want to remove this um, very front panel right here along the left side of the center console. To do that, you're just going to grab it and it pops out. Now there is a trick. There's a little plastic notch up in here, so it's best to use a straight screwdriver. Get up in there, kind of help pop that lip, that notch over the lip in there, or the edge of the plastic. Otherwise, you risk snapping it in half. So, pretty much the last panel you're going to need to worry about removing. Um, we got to get to inside of here, which is where the back side of the USB sits. So, to start, there's three screws right here that hold the uh, cup holder once that's out of the way there's two more screws right here panel right here pretty much just pops out I'll get it out the way so you can access these two guys here but you are going to want to go ahead and there is a little blue locking clip You got to move out of the way to get this connector out. A little blue guy right there. Let's go ahead and get all that out your way. Pay attention when you go back in. These are different type threads. These actually go into the metal inserts. Whereas these are all just going into plastic down here. These guys have the metal inserts. And this is the USB, back of the USB port right here that we're getting to. I'm going to go ahead and just unplug it. So we're going to be installing uh, the new one. What I'll do is just kind of tie this out of the way. And I'll go over running the new USB cable as well. We're going to go ahead and get all this removed right here. They're all 7 millimeter screws. I recommend just unplugging them and getting them out of your way. can hang them over the side but you risk scratching the finish
like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the antenna next. Um, now a lot of this stuff I just use my hands, but I did want to point out you can get these um, long, like eight-inch zip ties. You can even get a couple of them, put them together. These are great to um, fish wires through the dash. So back up here. All right, so all I'm gonna do right up here, right next to the vent area. I'm just gonna drop it down and you can actually reach all the way up in there and grab it and pull it through. Pretty much that easy. And this is gonna lock in place. Now I will warn you, it's best just to leave it right there for now. Once we've got it all fired up, um, it seems to pick up signal a lot better outside the panel. Once it's picked up its signal and locks on, you're good. You can then stick it up underneath the panel. Hey, also, if you're planning on moving your camera image from the mirror down to the radio, which is also explained in the um, instructions, you're going to want to get this access cover off, just pull it out of the way. plug will just pop right out of the back of the mirror. Then basically we're going to want to get some of this wiring right here. What I'm going to do is open this jacket up right here. Some of this uh, covering to get to the wires inside. I'll show you that here in a little bit. Okay, so just my personal preference. I actually prefer to start at the top and work my way down. You can do whatever you're more comfortable with. Steps really don't matter as long as all the connections get hooked up. But I'm going to start with the camera, peeling back some of this shielding right here and getting to the wires necessary. And if I did my job correctly and included the um, extension wire, this is what you'll be using to pull signal from the mirror down to the nav. So what you want to do is start with a very fresh razor blade and you can feel where the wires are in there. You don't want to slice the wires inside. Alright so what we've got here are the wires pulled out from the jacket and since I'm going to be taping this back up anyway, try not to cut your finger with your blade. This guy with the blue aluminum foil is what we're after. Camera wires sit right in there. This can be kind of a pain in the butt. Now we've got that peeled back out of the way. We're working with the white and the blue wire. White is going to be your video positive. Blue is your video negative. You're not going to worry about this bare strand wire here. It's a drain wire. You're not going to worry about that. So basically, that's why I like these style strippers. I can go ahead and open up that wire right there and get to it. So now I'm going to take and just make my connections with the red and the black wire after I trim it down to those two wires and get it all taped up nice and neat. So I'll be back here in a second to show you the outcome. So I've got the connections made, red to white, black to blue, and I've got them both taped up nice individually. So what we're going to do next is um, get our harness here looking decent so just take some black electrical tape wrap 
snap it nice and tight. Get the wire going. Place the top. You are going to want to tape this up as far as you can. That's probably good right there. So what we're going to do next is take your fingers. We'll allow this to drop right in the channel. right over that front edge work it all the way over it does get a little tight right here and then we're going to secure it to this harnessing going all the way down and then you just want to make sure push that up in there far enough that back in and then your cover will cover up everything real nice Just make sure the feet snap all the way down push it back up in place and we're good to go Alright, so we have secured the wire all the way down. Now we need to get it into the dash. Um, I did go ahead and remove this side panel over here. Three clips, it pops out. You're going to want to get the glove box drop down. Once you got it down through this cavity here. There's a big metal bar that runs all the way across the dash and that's what we're actually going to secure this to with some zip ties. the radio cavity area and then if you look right up in here okay this is the um, bar right up here we're going to secure to and then this is the silver XM box right here and we're actually going to be disconnecting this cable right here now you do have to access the clip from the back side so you're going to want some patience to do that but this is the um, clip you're going to want to remove from this brain. I'm going to go ahead and do this XM antenna extension so I've gotten the cable unplugged from the brain and we're going to insert our connector in here. Now I will warn you this is an extremely tight fit so make sure you get it in there right all good and basically I'm going to route it up to the brace and then into the radio cavity what I'm going to do next is go ahead and run the, um, the USB now pay attention there are two ends to this USB so just compare it to the one you're taking out so this is the one that's going to plug right back into the factory. And then all I'm going to do run a couple ties. Just to kind of secure it out of the way and make it look good. Basically, we're going to run this through the center console, so this is where our fish um, pull wire comes into place. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that and get it up to the front, and we're going to go over the uh, VSS connection. 
All right, so you can see I've got this run tied and we're going right through the center and I've got it brought up through the radio cavity. Just pull it right up through the center console and then up the back side. So we're going to move on to the OnStar VSS connection, camera connection, and we'll start wrapping it up. All right, so we're going to go move on to the VSS camera and uh, OnStar harness. So. I'm going to go through these wires, what you need here for what vehicles. I also want to point out this is the OnStar module that sits right down in here. You are going to need to get to the back side of it to plug this guy in right here. And you're also going to want to make sure, verify that this little recessed area is pressed all the way down. That's the locking tab. If it's popped up just a hair, it won't plug in. Now this is accessed a lot easier by from the back side over here. So I'll show you that in just a second. As far as this harness goes, if you do not have a Denali trimmed vehicle or a vehicle with center point audio, you're not going to worry about the purple and gray wires. Just um, roll them back and tie them up just like that. This is your VSS wire, which is going to go down there. I'll point that out here in a second. This is your camera, which if you're running a camera wire like I did, I prefer just to cut it off and take these two wires directly to these two wires. Yellow is going to be your video positive, so it's going to go to red. And brown will be your negative going to black. It's pins 5 and 15 as you're holding the plug just like this with the locking tab on top. Start in the upper corner, left hand corner, and count over five. Directly below it is 15. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get this stuff connected, and then I'll show you the VSS connection and the OnStar. So I have clipped off um, the wires here, attached my camera wires. I also removed the blue RCA lead. You don't need that anymore, nothing's going to plug into it. I've got my OnStar harness dropped down in behind the module here, so I'm going to get down there and plug it in. I've also got my VSS wire run through the back of the cavity and coming out over here, which I'm going to run that down to this box right here. Um, this is the plug that holds it on, and I can tell you all you got to do is grab on the sides, on both sides, and just rock this thing off can't hardly do it with one hand but just like that we're going to be accessing this terminal right here it's, le it's labeled a but the bottom right is where we're going to be plugging on for the vss so i'll make those connections and we'll be back to show you the final outcome connections can only go into one spot this guy's going to go into the two you originally unplugged. You're no longer going to worry about the factory USB because we have the new USB, which I believe fell down in there, that will plug in your antenna. Only goes in one spot. XM extension only goes in one spot. And the uh, GPS antenna only goes in one spot. And then this. These are color coordinated, gray, and then the black plug I'm not using on this vehicle, but if we had rear seat entertainment, it would be going there. So we'll go ahead and make these connections, and I'll come back and fire it up for you. So we are all back together except for our trim and also our panel up front because I'm going to leave that antenna out. We'll have to back it outside and, uh, and see um, when we get signal pickup. We'll go ahead and fire this up, and there we go. Audio, you can see steering wheel controls work. So well, these are going to work your presets. I don't mind. We're not going to get XM you know, in here very well. It's a softer every day. There we have it. One last thing to test, and that is 
the camera. Yeah, you see we got it on the screen and on the mirror as well. We do pick up the parking grid lines, so I'll back this out and uh, pick up signal. Now, if signal doesn't pick up right away, I have seen these take up to uh, 45 minutes to an hour to pick up signals, so sometimes you have to be patient.